Hey everyone, Richard Hanley here. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on the equipment that I use for uh, my podcast. And I did a lot of research to try to make sure that it was very minimal. And you're looking at it. Right here is the minimum equipment needed to start a podcast. So I'll break this down a little bit. So I actually have two iPhones. I have one here. I'm actually recording on one. As you can kind of see in the reflection, and this is like a little microphone that I use for video to make it sound a little bit better. It's called an iMic, uh, iRig MicCast. It's a little microphone you just pop right in. Uh, it works, works pretty good. And you can flip it over so you want to have the other person speaking or you speaking. That's how that works. So simple iPhone and I have this microphone that I kind of built up from Olympus and it's literally a $16 microphone. That sounds amazing. Uh, it really does. Check out my podcast. Let me know if you like those. So here's actually the microphone itself. Here's the components of kind of what make it up. Again, uh, this was on Amazon. I'll put a link in the show notes. But uh, let, me, let me show you exactly how, how this sets up. This comes from uh, a website called CV Connection, I believe. It's um, phenomenal customer service, great people. And uh, this converts this Olympic mic in order to be worked with the iPhone. Because uh, the cool thing about I, I really love about this Olympus microphone is that it pulls its own power versus having to have a microphone with a battery pack. And you have to worry about keeping up with batteries and not knowing if you're going to have enough for you know, your interview or if your interview goes too long, you might run out of battery. This way, this dongle converts it where it pulls the, pattern, the power from this guy. No batteries needed. Like I said, it's very minimal. So yeah, obviously you need two of these and two recording devices, uh, either an iPad, an iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever. With that, don't use this. I used this one time. It's a Sony recorder. I think it was like 20 bucks, and uh, it sucks. It I don't know what its problem is, but the audio quality was absolutely horrible. If you want to listen to it, go. I try to clean up the best I can. Go check it out at the Ducast.net. And the uh, the Charles Cadwell interview is when I experiment with that. So I like using this, you know, very simple, basic. Uh, I was trying to do it cheaper, but this works. So I'm going to show you real quick how this is put together. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see me. So you have this part, which is the base. And um, so this goes to this, which is your iPhone, which is the uh, Olympus microphone. So this connects together. And then going down the microphone, it's a very short cord, which is nice, so you don't have a lot of extra um, cords that you wear. Let me flip the camera, sorry, I just noticed that, the microphone I mean. So then you connect your regular microphone it comes with, and it comes with all these pieces right here. This is the, the pop filter to stop a lot of the s and the pops. And then you have your shirt clip recorder, and I'll show you, let me raise that. I'll show you how that works. I found that it works best if you put the recorder like this versus having it actually on your neck, on your V-neck right there or something like that. It's way too close. Having about mid-chest is a great level for a good recording. Then you can take your iPhone, plug it up, throw it in your back pocket, you know, and so now you have a very casual, minimal uh, setup. And you can, I think you can have a much better conversation that way with interviewing podcasts. You can walk around. There's not a whole crew with expensive gear and stuff like that. It's very minimal and set up. But I'll show you what else I bring. So that's the bare, that's the bare bone. That's all you need to get up and going. Is two $16 microphones, two of these little uh, converter things from AV, I believe, connection. I'll put a link in the show notes for that. And, uh, and some kind of recording device, which most people have something like that. So it works very well, and it's very minimal to get you started. But also, I recommend having a camera. Now, I spent, and again, this just it's the stuff, the gear. This is the gear that I use. I'm preparing for an interview now with uh, Patrick Fellows, which is he's an amazing guy here in Baton Rouge. He started up a, you know, a, a few restaurants. He's um, a triathlete big entrepreneur. He did a TED Talk. So stick uh, to the podcast to, uh, for that and hopefully maybe uh, maybe Tim Ferriss one day if he's listening. So I highly encourage uh, doing some kind of 
photography with it. I love bringing a professional camera out there and taking a good photo of the moment uh, and just capturing that. But you know, you don't have to get that. I really enjoy taking a good photo. Uh, I invested this camera for marketing, actually, and I study photography. Go get your book on photography, check it out, uh, or use your iPhone. You know, it doesn't really matter. I asked to leave them with goodies. So I have a poster, and obviously I'm in the salad dressing business. I leave them a bottle of salad dressing. So these are gifts as that I give them, uh, my interviewees, as, um, you know, for doing this in return for the interview. So, and yeah, this has like... Uh, I put like a little do-band, which I'm wearing now. It's, you know, my little, my little things. My poster, which has these little words of wisdom and tidbits of things like, you know, climb a mountain, do something scary, you know. Uh, so it's a little poster I made. But anyway, I give these away to my interviewees. And uh, actually, to even go ultra minimal, I try to use the split. So you can only use one iPhone with two microphones. But splits don't work well at all. I've tried all different types of splits. Uh, they don't work. Uh, but it's a good thing because I rather have two separate tracks anyway of the audio so I can go in there, clean up what I need be. So, uh, but I just want to show you what else is in the bag. So obviously the basic mics, I bring my goodies, my camera, uh, you know, a little notepad to take notes kind of as I go along. You just, if I have a question, that I'll probably lose it. I have a horrible memory. And obviously, yes, you got to have some breath mints. You don't want your breath stinking and uh, chapstick, I guess. But over here, too, is what I have whenever I, I can't be in person and I have to do it online uh, or via Skype. I use this little very inexpensive microphone from Audio-Technica. Pat Flynn uh, told me about this, which is really great. And this is just a little pair of headphones that kind of go into it. But the, this sounds amazing. It really does. For 40 bucks, it is a studio quality mic. But I don't want to go around town dragging these things everywhere, you know? So those microphones work wonderful. So go ahead and check that out. If you're into podcasting, I highly encourage you doing this. I was inspired by a, uh, a video or Tim mentioned in his, uh, one of his podcasts called The Random Show. Go check that out. Subscribe to uh, the DoCast to go check out our podcast and everything that's coming up. And yet, yeah, uh, go back and check out the video. And uh, I, I did a full article kind of on how I start up a podcast. Check that out at richardhaleyjr.com. So, all right, thanks. Have a good one.